Hi, have you ever heard people tell you that God told them to do something specific? I've heard that a lot. Then interestingly, a week later, God supposedly tells them to do something totally different. We have to be very, very careful with this. Let's see what the Bible tells us about this. And at the end, I'll share one really amazing passage about God speaking to us directly. The prophet Ezekiel dealt with a lot of other prophets. These prophets all claimed that God had told them things. This is a very dangerous thing to do, unless, of course, you're quoting God's very word, the Bible. I've heard this so many times. Folks tell me that God told them to do something, and they tell it very loosely. First of all, if it's true that God tells them something, then if they write it down, they would be writing the inspired word of God. Now, that's huge. May we tremble at God's word and not use it loosely. I was an entertainment journalist. That meant that I had to do interviews with actors from Hollywood. Then I would write the interview down, add some intros, and submit it to be published. I could get into a lot of trouble, though, if I started quoting actors either out of context or just make up things that I wanted them to say. How much more we should be careful to quote God himself. It's very serious. In Ezekiel 13, God tells Ezekiel that he is against these prophets who just come up with their own sayings. They might have thought that God put it on their hearts, but remember Isaiah 8 verse 20 tells us that if a prophet doesn't speak according to God's word, it is because there is no light in them. They speak of their own imaginations. May we fear God. This is why the Torah, or the first five books of Moses, tell us that if we make up things that God doesn't say, the punishment for that would be to be stoned to death. In Deuteronomy 18 verse 20 it tells us, But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. Now that's pretty serious. I actually made another video on this issue. Watch this video, I encourage you to watch it. Now, for the extra. In 2 Peter 1, Peter describes the transfiguration on the mountain. He actually heard God's voice speaking. Jesus was there, Moses and Elijah. Then in verse 19, Peter says that we have God's voice through God's word, more sure than if we heard God himself talk to us. So read your Bible, memorize it, it's your very life. God bless you. Bye-bye.